Today on Guns Club, we will analyze a whole segment of weapons that are capable of delivering such high rates that no current conventional weapon can match. If you're impressed by the rate of automatic cannons like the GAU-8 Avenger used in the A-10 Thunderbolt ground attack plane, yet the EDMR is the nearest in the Autonantus, then this video will really leave you absorbed. The fastest of all the weapons we will see today is the famous Metal Storm, which can fire up to 180 rounds. 9 by 19. Parabellum in just 0.01 seconds. That would equate to more than 1,080,000 rounds per minute. There are even versions that can fire up to 1.6 million rounds per minute. It's so fast that when firing those 180 cartridges at its maximum rate, it seems like it's just one shotgun blast. This is likely the highest rate of fire weapon globally. And the most impressive thing of all is that there is a whole group of weapons that use this system and fire all kinds of cartridges, from pistol cartridges to grenades. All these weapons that we will analyze today were created by a single company and are as varied as they are curious. But how is it possible that these weapons have such a high rate? What's inside these boxes that makes them fire so fast? Is it possible to make an infantry weapon like this? And the most important question today, why aren't these weapons used massively in the world's armies? In this video, we will see everything behind the entire Metal Storm Limited weapons segment, which will undoubtedly surprise you. These weapons were created and designed primarily by engineer James Michael O'Dwyer, or as he prefers to be called, Mike O'Dwyer. And they were created at Metal Storm Limited, founded in 1996. Its main headquarters is in Brisbane, Australia, and it's a relatively modest company, but it had quite a bit of potential. This company mainly deals with designing overcharged weaponry, that is, weapons with multiple cartridges within the same barrel, and these cartridges are fired consecutively. Gunpowder weapons have been manufactured since the invention of gunpowder. This paradigm was quite useful in the times of muzzle-loading rifles, as it allowed to always have multiple shots available. Obviously, at the cost of complicating the reloading and production of the rifles a bit more, the first weapons of this type had quite a few closures that allowed the individual ignition of each charge. Obviously, with the appearance of magazines and bolt-action rifles, these weapons disappeared never to return. However, Metal Storm has brought this concept back. As we said, the most popular weapon from Metal Storm Limited is the Metal Storm and it has a rate of 1,080,000 rounds per minute. Its operation is extremely simple and is very similar to the operation of a common printer in common printers. An electrical system generates heat inside the head to boil a small drop of ink in its cylinder, creating a pressure bubble that pushes the ink down. Over and over again that, along with the movements of the mechanical arm, create a clean impression. In the metal storm system, it's the same, but instead of ink, it works with ammunition. The metal storms have multiple barrels that are put in series inside the weapon. This allows us to vary the type of ammunition fired. Inside the barrels, we have the ammunitions that are separated by their own propellants. These cartridges are not conventional cartridges. However, they operate under the same concept of propulsion by the deflagration of gases. In this system, the propellants are not mechanically initiated like conventional weapons, but are electronically initiated. By initiating the propellant of the cartridge that is ahead, the one that is behind expands, preventing its propellant from being initiated. Subsequently, the electrical line initiates the propellant of the cartridge that is behind and expands the one that is further behind. And so on, one by one, until the cartridges are exhausted. As its action is done electrically, it has no moving or mechanical parts, so it is 100% reliable and is infinitesimally more reliable than conventional weapons. In addition, this action system allows the rate of fire to be controlled by computer. So we can fire only half a cannon or a full cannon, or if we want a whole series of cannons, in the order of form we want. Being something completely unique, we can also control the weapon's cadence at will. For example, here we have the Metal Storm system, firing at 600 shots per minute, Now at 30,000 shots per minute. Now at 60,000, and now finally at 1 million shots per minute. 
As you can see, it's quite impressive. Like a printer, once the ink is finished, you simply change the cartridges. In the metal storm system, it's the same. When it's fully fired, it simply opens up and they are replaced. The series of cannons in a fairly simple way, just like the belts of machine guns. You can make combinations of ammunition, making the system quite versatile. Think about it. Cannons with intermediate pistol projectiles or grenades could be installed in the same system, giving the operator the ability to choose the cartridge they need in the heat of battle without reloading the weapon. Metal Stone Limited made many different weapons with this system, such as grenade launchers, pistols, and accessories for conventional weapons, like a shotgun that is installed on the bottom or top of rifles, having a single and unique disadvantage and that is its excessive operating cost. Having such a high rate of fire, it uses a lot of ammunition, and this is a gigantic economic cost. Firing a metal storm for a minute at its maximum rate creates a cost of $400,000, which is quite impressive. However, it is so effective that it could be an affordable cost, if you think about it. These systems have a lot of applications, and it's a concept that can be adapted to any caliber or vehicle. For example, a couple of these could be mounted on an attack helicopter and in wide areas where there are multiple enemies, launch a large rain of projectiles in an instant. Even as an anti-aircraft system for ships or in tanks to intercept drones, or also as an anti-infantry measure, a weapon for the infantry like this would be extremely useful. For example, a gun with a metal storm system would have no magazines or mechanical parts, being extremely light. In addition, several rounds could be fired before the recoil moves the weapon, allowing several projectiles to go to the exact same place with a single shot. Currently, a conventional weapon can do this, and it is the Russian A-94 being able to fire two rounds at the same place. Before you feel the recoil, as the metal storm pistols could fire all their cartridges before you feel the recoil. This type of weapons could be the future of military technology, no more mechanisms that can jam, no more cleaning the weapon, or complex action systems that limit their speed. But if these weapons were so good, what happened to them? Why don't we see these systems being used by many nations around the world? What happened to Metal Storm Limited? Well, in the 2000 years, at the height of Metal Storm Limited, not many nations showed interest in their products. In the early 2000s, the United States military showed great interest in these systems and aimed to integrate them into their rifles. They also experimented extensively with grenade launchers of various calibers and sizes. However, Metal Storm had many problems adapting these technologies to American rifles. Over the years and after a lot of failed tests, the impatience of the American High Command grew and their interest decreased. As time passed, the company gradually lost investors in 2012. With a voluntary administration and several economic problems, the company sold all its intellectual rights to the Australian defense firm Defender Text. And these latter have not done much or almost nothing with the work of Metal Storm, so we could say that this project is dead. Even though Metal Storm didn't manage to have much success with their weapons, they undoubtedly changed the armament world forever breaking the boundaries and setting the bar so high that currently no weapon can match the high rates that their systems manage to reach. Thanks for watching. See you next time.